Hi guys. It's Ruby. And in this video, I am chewing gum. Um, please forgive the fact that I'm probably not chewing as gracefully as I should. Um, because the gum keeps sticking to my braces. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing a haircut role play for my next video, which I've never attempted before. So I'm hoping that all my loyal viewers um, appreciate it. And I need to get my nails filled really bad. So please um, disregard the look of them. <laughs> I've just been really busy. Um, so in this video, since I'm all cozied up in bed on this rainy night, I thought it would be nice to do a little video talking about my favorite celebrities, since I've already done my, um, favorite DVD collection with my favorite movies from my DVD collection. Um, I have about 20 minutes until my camera runs out. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys like this video. Okay. The first celebrity that I love is Kate Hudson and I couldn't pick a favorite of her movies so I put all her movies I absolutely love Kate Hudson I think that she is adorable and um, she's probably a sweetheart in real life seen a couple of her interviews and um, I just adore her. I think she's so cute. So cute. And um, yeah, so that's my first one. They don't necessarily go in order, but she's definitely a favorite. Mostly known for his role as Doug Hafferman in The King of Queens. And um, that is actually mine and my fiance's favorite show. Mainly because I am just like Leah Remini, her character Carrie. I'm definitely crazy like she is <laughs> um so I love him best for his role in King of Queens but I love all of his movies I just rented from Redbox um Here Comes the Boom with him and he was awesome he's awesome in all his movies so he's definitely a favorite. Um, the next one, Katherine Heigl. I don't know if I spelled her last name right, but my two favorite movies are 
Katherine Heigl's are 27 dresses and knocked up. Um, I forgot to mention for Kate Hudson, one of my favorite movies that she played in was Bride Wars, which is up there with 27 dresses. <laughs> um, but I love Katherine Heigl. I think she's very, very pretty. Um, because she's almost kind of like plain, kind of like Kate Hudson. They're very naturally beautiful. I didn't mean to say plain, I meant just naturally beautiful. And I'm always intrigued by females that are naturally beauty, you know, beautiful. Um, I don't want to date them or anything, but I just love her. I think she's a great actress. So Katherine Heigl is definitely up there. Um, the next one, and I will tell you guys now that he is one of my all-time favorite actors. Denzel Washington. Um, every movie he has done is amazing. And what I love about Denzel Washington is that he is such a versatile character. And that he can play so many different roles. In the movie Training Day, he was like a villain. And in this movie, one of my favorite movies of his, Remember the Titans, um, ah, uh, the role was just unbelievable. Um, I always thought if I was ever an actress, and I got on stage to claim an award, I would say Denzel Washington, <laughs> and I would say I just wanted to say your name on stage, <laughs> because I just love him. Oh, I love him. Um, I know that he, what he stands for, like his, his morals and his values in real life, um, are very, very high. He has very high morals and standards. And I just love him. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. So definitely Denzel. Um, next, and I know you guys know him. Will Smith. And before any of you correct me, I know I spelt happiness wrong. And I spelt it wrong because I own the movie. Um, I don't remember. But I think that's how happiness was spelled on the cover of the DVD. Um, Will Smith plays a lot of great roles. This was my all-time number one favorite movie that he ever did. Because I know um, the real story about the man who he portrayed. In the Pursuit of Happiness. And Will Smith, I believe, won an award for this role. It is the most tear-jerking, moving, inspirational movies I have ever seen. I strongly suggest you watch it and really understand the meaning of it. Um, and what it means to kind of never give up. And always, always fight for what you believe in. And I just, I loved him in this movie. I love him in general. And yeah, this was definitely one of my favorites. Sorry, my phone just went off. I forgot to put it on silent. Okay. The next lovely lady that we have, I know you all know, 
The net is Julia Roberts. And one of my most favorite movies that she ever did, aside from Steel Magnolias, which is a classic, um, Aaron Brockovich. And just like The Pursuit of Happiness, Aaron Brockovich was based on a true story. And it was such a good movie because she literally had nothing. She had nothing. She had three kids she was trying to feed. And um, it was just, it was, oh, it was such a good movie. She played an amazing role. And I believe she won an award for her role in Aaron Brockovich. And there were a lot of funny parts, too. <laughs> so, yeah. Julia Roberts is definitely one of my all-time favorite celebs. And um, she especially was in Aaron Brockovich. The next lovely lady that we have many of you know, and it is Sandra Bullock, and probably my most recent favorite movie that she did was The Blind Side. Um, again, based on a true story, um, she portrayed um, Leanne uh, Tui. <coughs> Excuse me was who she played in this movie. <coughs> and, um, she did an amazing, amazing job portraying Leanne, uh, Tui in this movie. Um, Sandra Bullock is gorgeous, number one. Again, another natural beauty. And all of these celebs that I have chosen including her, I think, are genuinely down-to-earth people in real life. From um, comments that I've heard in interviews and um, um, talk shows. So, definitely Sandra Bullock, without a doubt, and all of these movies that I have um, been talking about. I suggest, if possible, you guys definitely go out and rent, buy, see. They're, they're all really, really good movies. Okay. And the next guy really doesn't need an introduction. <clears throat> Mr. Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black, 100%, is somebody that I would want to hang out with in real life. Um, Jack Black, I love, love him in Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre, in my opinion is hysterical because I have a very silly sense of humor and um, oh my gosh my dad and I both love this movie and what's funny I'm not going to do it for you guys now but every time I go to my dad's house he'll like say a line from Nacho Libre and um He'll, like, make me say it because I know how to do the Jack Black voice in Nacho Libre. And, um, I'm actually half Spanish, so I'm not making fun of anybody that's Mexican or Puerto Rican or Spanish, but I do the Spanish accent very, very well, if I say so myself. <laughs> so, my dad will always, like, say a line from it, and then I'll have to come back with something else. Um, he always makes me do that, and, um, he 
he makes me do the accent from uh, my big fat Greek wedding. <clears throat> so, that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, I'm pretty good at accents, actually. Um, but yeah, I love Jack Black. I love The Holiday. It's one of my favorite movies. And um, he actually played a really good role in it. He played a little bit more of a serious, like, nice guy role in The Holiday, but nevertheless, Jack Black is always hysterical. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my throat's dry. Okay. Next, I made a list, and lastly, of um, my favorite actors and actresses that are... <coughs> So, so sorry, guys. I need some water. I made a list of actors and actresses <clears throat> who um, have been around a very, very long time. And um, the very first one on the list is Jack Nicholson. Love him. Love all of his movies. Um, the next one that is one of my favorites is Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn is actually um, Kate Hudson's mother, for those of you who didn't know. And Goldie Hawn has been around for a very long time. She has played in so many movies. Oh my gosh, she's fantastic. I love her. Love her. And at her age, I don't know how that old she is. But I know she is rocking it out and she looks fabulous. Audrey Hepburn is a classic actress. As well as Marilyn Monroe. Which I know you probably all knew I loved anyways. Um... Sally Field, who probably my favorite role she did was Steel Magnolias, but Sally Field, like Goldie Hawn, has been around for a very long time. Meryl Streep. Um, Meryl Streep won um, the Lifetime Achievement Award a couple years back, and there are no words for Meryl Streep and all the the amazing movies this woman has put out over the years. There's just no words for her. None. Um, Morgan Freeman. I love Morgan Freeman. Oh, I just think he's wonderful. Um, I put him on this list because even though, um, you know, he's probably even younger than some of these actors. Um, he's, well, no, he's probably in the same age group, so never mind. <laughs> um, but Morgan Freeman is fantastic. He plays a lot of really, really, really good roles. So, this is my list for my, um, older crowd of actors and actresses. <laughs> Um, something else I wanted to show you guys that I do not share with many people. Um, I try to live my life every day by using Law of Attraction. Whatever you think about, you bring about. And after watching the DVD called The Secret, I learned about something called a vision board. So I made a vision board for what I wanted my life to look like. And every day, I read these quotes and I envision that I have these things. And I'm going to show it to you guys. It's right above my bed, behind me. And I have never shown this in the video. But I will. There's. Miss Macy May. Oh, I'm going to turn on the other light, guys. So I'm going to put you down for one 
you can see there are two babies in the middle a little girl and a little boy because when I decide to become a mommy one day I would love to have children and love obviously to be a mom of twins and this was another little baby um, that I thought was cute <laughs> okay so I put a picture of my fiance and I all right here here, right here, and there are quotes all over the board. On this side, it says places we will visit. Las Vegas, Italy, Bora Bora, and Ireland. And I'm going to read you a quote. Only you can control your ability to take the occurrences in your life and use them to your advantage or disadvantage. Having a complete influence over your own mind will allow you to manage any situation and therefore increase your chances of success. This says what we have achieved as a team. And this is the exact house I would like to live in. And this is actually a diner. And um, that's my dream, to own a diner one day. Him and I, with my parents, a family-run diner, and pass it on to our children one day. So that's my vision board, and um, I will read you one more quote before I let you guys go. Formulate and stamp indelibility on your mind and a mental picture of yourself as succeeding. Hold this picture tenaciously. Never permit it to fade. Your mind will seek to develop the picture. Do not build obstacles in your imagination. And one more. <laughs> if you're trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them. Everybody has had them. But obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. So that's my vision board that I look at every day and I envision and part of envisioning is pretending as silly as it seems that you already have these goals attained and met and um, I can talk a little bit more about envisionment and the law of attraction in another video if you guys like. But. Um, pretty much I'm going to say goodnight for now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I want you to know that every comment that I receive telling me how much I help people really, really means a lot. And um, I feel like you guys are my, my friends, even though I don't know you all personally. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next haircut roleplay. And thanks for watching. Good night, guys.